All right, in this video, we're gonna go over basic NT carburetor jetting. So this is your basic NT carburetor, just a very used one and a very old and tired one. So first off, you're gonna wanna remove these two screws that hold your bowl on, and there's your bolt. You got a gasket, and make sure this doesn't happen when it just happened. Don't lose this little valve piece. This is what stops your fuel from overflowing, overflowing your carburetor. So put this in a safe place. Don't lose that. And you're gonna have to remove your gasket, which is either a rubber gasket or a port gasket. And here's your bolt, which your float, and it should be very clear in there, but this one's an old carburetor, so it's not. Just put that off to the side. So here is your jet, your main jet. This is normally tightened. What you want to do is go ahead and loosen it and remove your jet. Mine's not tight on there. I just for video purposes. It should be, everything should be tightened down. But I'm gonna show you how to measure that right now. Okay, I wanna give a thanks to LA Hoover, hope I'm pronouncing that right, for providing this method of uh, measuring your jets. So essentially, you just get a piece of solder and you sand it down to be real smooth and you just put your jet right over the end of it. So this jet reaches there and we're gonna mark it with our finger and go to a jet to start off with. This is a 72. That reaches my finger, so it's too big. Let's go to a 60. That doesn't even go down. That goes down to there, so that's too small. Um, This is a 70, that's probably too big. The 68, this should be it. Yeah, see, it, it, go, it won't go down anymore. Since that's, that's the perfect jet, so this jet that we just measured is a 68. That's how you measure your jet. All right, I wanna go ahead and point out now that all jets are created different. So on the end of the spectrum, we have a 60 jet, and at the other end of the spectrum, we got a 72 jet. So this is the jet that we just measured, and it was a 68. So I put that right on top of the 68 jet. This jet is from another NT carburetor, and this jet we measured out to be a 70 jet, number 70. So every NT carburetor is created different when it comes to jetting. So I just want to point that out there. So if you see here, I have going smallest to biggest and there is a gap in between. Because the bike that I use right now, it needed a 65 jet and this is a 62 and the next one up is a 68. I don't have every single number of jets because this is all the pack came with that I have. So it's just a matter of Tuning which jet fits the best in your bike to prevent four-stroking is it's just a terrible thing. It completely ruins like your fuel mileage and all that kind of fun stuff. And your top end. But um your bike will feel a lot more faster, a lot more reliable, a lot a lot better when you have the right jet. Just whenever it whenever it stops four-stroking, that's how you know you got the right jet. So I needed a 65 jet in mine with my exhaust, my airflow, and just matched all the requirements of my bike needed, so, yeah.
So now we're going to go ahead and put the jet back in. We grab our needle piece and let's say we needed a 62 jet. So we're just going to throw a 62 in there. All of these are going to be a five millimeter jet. All NT carburetors, I believe are a five millimeter jet. So we're going to go ahead and get this in our adjustable wrench because I'm too lazy to find the right one and grab our flathead. Flathead, where'd you go? Here it is. And tighten her down. Just give her one good snug. And now you're just gonna wanna put it right over the needle, right back into the carburetor. And you're gonna wanna tighten this down because I'll share you a story right now in a second. Once I get this thing tight. Just like that. All right, that's gonna be the end of this one. Um, if you've seen a difference at all in the video quality, I'm actually recording with the GoPro full time now. I used to record with this and screw that. So if it's any better, I'll keep it like this. If not, then I'll go back to use my phone. Um, but yeah, that's just carburetor jetting in a nutshell. If you ever get an aftermarket exhaust, do that modification with your exhaust, you're most likely going to need to do some jetting. So I'd recommend getting a jet kit. They're like eight bucks on Amazon. Super cheap and make your bike perform a lot better.